black skins. And the reason for that is because the scales are enlarged and shingled like armor. So, yeah, of course. So they also get called the sleepy lizard. They do not move a lot. They do not move very fast, but they don't need to. The best defense is a good defense. Um, I kind of equate them to if Australia did have a tortoise. <laughs> this is in no way related. They're both reptiles, but that's about it. But they've evolved to do very similar things. Most tortoises, though, they're uh, herbivorous. And these species will typically eat a lot of plant matter. We feed them a lot of like, beetroot, shredded carrot, and cabbage. But you see how big the sides of the head are, especially on the bobtails? That's pure muscle, and that is for crushing snails. These guys love invertebrates and such bells. That would be the second thing that these guys eat the most of. They'll eat them as well, but you can see there's just a massive difference and the amount of musculature in the sides of the head. So they have a really strong bite, but they're also really friendly, so I don't have to worry about it. No worries, guys, enjoy your day. You like to stretch his back? Really smooth, yeah. Same, that one is the same, no, that's a different species. They're very closely related, very closely related. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you can see, if you put them together, they are very different lizards. This one has evolved more for movement, and this one has evolved more for defense. You can see if you touch the back of him, you see how tough oh, yeah, that is. Yeah, it's like rubbing your hand over a stony pine cone. They're ridiculous. Yeah. Really tough. Do that, so this is the local the species. This is the one that we get a lot in the general perf area. Even in urban areas, very common. Uh, do you like the touch of that? See how smooth it is? It's not slimy at all. It's really kind of... Thank you. No worries, guys. Enjoy your day.